the wall. You broke the wall, dirty criminal. Biking for one and a half hour. Actually, I just rode for 30 minutes, but let's say it was one and a half hour of biking, right? Okay, yeah. And then I was, you know, biking 20 miles. And then 20 miles ahead, I saw like a, you know, the speed limit signs? Yeah. I saw one of those that says 20 um, miles per hour. That's your speed limit. Okay. And then the cops pulled me over. <gasps> so then did or did I not break the law? Oh, you said that you biked for one and a half hours. And how long was your trip? 20 miles? 20 miles before I saw a sign that says 20 miles per hour. Do you know how long the trip was in total? No. Okay, so here's our uh, sign. limit sign, and this is 20 miles. Right. And my position was 40 over 3 plus. T yeah. squared, yeah. approximately, yeah. right? Yeah. Okay, so you're saying, did you break 20 meters per sec uh, hour? Well, first of all, uh, since you traveled for 20 miles, so let's see how. So this entire trip was one and a half hours. One and a half hours. Okay. Now you multiply that by t squared. So this is three over two, which would mm -hmm. uh, uh, which is equivalent to nine over four. So forty over three. So that would be 10. Right, right. That would be 3. Right. So, you were going for 30 miles. Okay. Which means that I'm going to have to put this sign Closer. Yeah, somewhere else. M P H P. <laughs> okay. So, that was not 20 miles. Uh, I'm not Picasso, okay? Am I? <laughs> I mean, we are doing painting later, so yes, I'll see if I'm Picasso. So, we have a 30 mile trip, and 20 miles in, you were stopped by a stop sign, right? So that's but all we know right now? Cops pulled me over. Oh no. Okay, so let's see. 40 over 3t squared. So that means that right over here, your velocity uh, could have been higher than 20 mph, but we're trying to find velocity. So let's see what we need to find. So we know, don't know velocity, but we know your position over time, and we know the distance you traveled in total, and we know the distance to the speed sign. Which is 20. Okay, so if I'm going to work over this, oh, so I just realized because you are 20 miles in, we can find how much time we took over there by simply plug, plugging in 20 to P of T. 40 over 3 T squared. So, how can we solve this now? Well, this does look like basic algebra, doesn't it? Yeah. So divide forty over three by yeah. Uh, just multiply by three. three? Okay. So sixty equals forty t squared. Uh huh. So now we have t is six or t squared is six over four. So t is root three over two, right? Right. Okay, so that means that it must have taken you square root of 3 over 2 sec um, hours? Yeah, hours to get over here. I believe that's equivalent to 1.22. Not completely sure, but I believe that would be equivalent to 1.22. So, algebra says you didn't break the law, but... The cops pulled you over. So we have to find another method to see if you really did break the law or not. So, first of all, P over T is just distance, right? 
Mm -hmm. And the derivative of distance is velocity. Mm -hmm. So we can find your velocity at the stop sign by simply taking the derivative of the distance. That'll help us figure out if the cops are wrong or not. Yeah. Okay. So how do we take the derivative of this? Well, first of all, we have to plug this in. So let's remember our equation from earlier. What was it again? So it's not f of x this time, no, it's yeah, p of t. Yeah. So uh, anyway, what is f of x? Well, or p of t. Yeah. That would be, wait, this is p prime t because we are solving for the derivative. So since we have f of x plus h, uh, and then we have f of x, then we would be having minus 40 over 3 t squared. And over here, we have, uh, since we're plugging in x to this function, we have 40 over 3 t plus h squared. As we saw before, we have to write the limit as h approaches 0. Yeah. So this is important in every single line until you get h out of the function. So p, oh no, I used white. p prime of t, the limit as h goes to 0, because h is still going to be in the function, 40 over 3. Now, what is t plus h squared? Well, uh, do you know what t plus h squared would be? Our whole squared? Would be t squared plus 2. I would say a, b, but what were your two things? t, h? Uh, t and h. Okay, so times t, h, right, yeah. plus h squared. Hmm. All right, so plug that in. T squared. I'm sorry, I have one question. Yeah. Did you say T minus H squared or whole squared or T, T plus H? Okay, okay, squared. okay, right, right, right. So it was minus then this would change. Right. Okay. So now we have to distribute this. So 40 over 3 T squared plus 40 over 3 times 2 T H uh -huh. would be 80 over 3 T H, yeah. I yeah. think. Yeah. And then. Uh, this would obviously be 40 over 3 h squared, h squared. minus 40 over 3 t squared. And these guys get mad at each other and cancel each other out, uh -huh. leaving us with this. Uh -huh. So now, do you notice, well, let me write this out in full first because it's a bit cluttered. So, 80 over 3 th plus 40 over 3 Mm -hmm. Do you notice any common factors? H. H. Hmm. So, if we factor that out, what would this become? Right. But then, this is h squared, right? Yeah. So, so. there would be a h leaving here. Hmm. Okay. So, now, these two cancel out. Right. Giving us p of t is, and the limit is h approaches zero. Zero. 80 over 3t plus 40 over 3h, but h is approaching 0. So now that the equation won't be irrational if we set h to 0, then we can set h to 0. And multiplying anything by 0 yields 0. zero. So we simply have 80 over 3t. So what was t again? Yeah, 1.22 hours. Wait, this is velocity. So that means that guess v over t. Mm -hmm. So now, this is a big reveal. 80 over 3 times 1.22. And finally, I need a calculator again. 80 over 3 times 1.22. 80, okay. Over. Uh, over 3. 3. Times. Is, no, oh. uh. I think with PEMDAS, it will do something weird. Okay. So I would rather just do that first. So round it to 26. And two thirds. Yeah. And then multiply that by 1.22. Multiply right? by 1.22. Right. 
Six, six, six. Oh, wait. And that is 32 Four and point. 815. Wait. 32 and 815? Or, wait a second. So I broke the law. You broke the law, dirty criminal. 